Hey, welcome. In this video, I will share with you how you can use AI to generate an image like this and this and also transform an image from this to this and even blend an image like this and this to give you this. You see, all of the images you are currently seeing were all generated using AI. None of these exist anywhere on the internet. Okay guys, so without further ado, let me walk you through how you can bring all of your imagination to reality using AI technology. Okay guys, so welcome back. The AI platform we'll be using to generate our images or to create our images will be Mid Journey. But you see this Mid Journey works with Discord. So Discord is just like the interface that you can use to interact with the AI platform. So the first you want to do is on your browser, you want to have, if you do not have a Discord account at the moment, so you want to create one. So I will take you through all of these processes. I've decided to take everything step by step in this particular video. So I will take you through all of the processes. So I'll just come here, I'll create an account, but I'll be very fast. So I'll click on register. Okay, then uh, you accept the terms of service. Then click on continue. Okay, I think that is all. I've created my account. Then um, I will say, let me just select artist and creator for a club or community. I'll just click on some of these stops. Okay, uh, not now. Take me to my server. Amazing. Okay, now you have created your account, but you see this stuff here. Please check your email. So let me just check my email to verify. Okay, so your email address of Discord. So let me just verify. Then we'll know we are done with that. Then we'll move into mid journey which is the platform we will use okay email verified all right so um the next thing now is go to midjourney.com guys just just keep watching this will be one of the best tutorial you have seen on mid journey even if you do not understand or you have not used it before you would get an hang of it after watching this video okay now you can see this is the mid journey um home page don't let it confuse you with all of this geeky and nerdy stuff so what you want to do if you are just creating your account like this is the first time you want to click on this join the beta so they are still saying it is it is in the beta phase even though many people are already using it can you see so you want to ensure you are logged in because now you are redirected to discord so you want to ensure you are logged in to your discord account so what you do now is click on accept invite okay can you imagine a bot is trying to verify if i'm woman amazing times ahead <laughs> okay so select select yo think we have an account already okay 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 so they are trying to tell you that you can actually download the desktop but i don't need all of that for now so guys uh this is your mid journey now if if you are a newbie or if this is your first time using mid journey here is the thing you need to there are rooms there are different rooms so this is the rooms where now let me just click on one of the rooms so you see so it is this room where you type your prompt your mid journey prompt and you get uh, a response but here is the thing you need to pay rapt attention because there are so many people that's one thing you want to know there are so many people currently in this room using the boat room do you get it now 
so you want to pay maximum attention so the first thing i'll tell you to do after you have created an account is scroll down scroll to the very bottom because as i've said many people are using so you might not know you get it now so scroll to the bottom then I'll, the first thing i'll tell you to do is you want to change the default settings so just click uh this slash then settings then type settings enter then enter again so that's the first command i want to show you how to do so because you need to do something so whenever you enter any command you need to scroll up a little and you need to be very fast about it can you see so this is the command that i enter this is the output of the command i enter the reason why you need to pay attention this is not a platform you'll be using and you leave no this one if you leave you might just lose the output of your prompt do you get it now so uh what i just want to show you here is turn on this remix uh <laughs> say remix remix mode so basically that is it so that's the first thing i want to show you how to do do you understand now so now let's start entering our prompt and this is what i'll do i'll take it from the very basic uh prompt to advanced prompt just pay attention now this is how mid journey works if you want it to give you anything you first enter this command which is imagine so imagine so after you enter imagine then you can uh press the space bar on your keyboard or enter can you see so you can now enter your prompt so imagine is not it's just like you saying okay the boat to go to a dreamland where it can create imagine and create the command which you will give it to create so this prompt is where you actually enter the command do you get it now so let me just enter a very basic command so you understand so i'll say uh, let me just say something like black man with afro i just want to create something very basic then let's see so you enter you click enter can you see now it is saying sending command you want to pay attention to this sending command so you can see it is gone so you need to scroll up now for the first time of using mid journey you need to accept terms of service that's the first thing so i'll click on accept terms of service so now that I've as accepted, you still need to look for where your uh, prompt went through. Very, very important. So you need to check. And that's one of the, uh, should I say the advantage now? But that's just the way they have built this platform. Can you see? Hey, uh, um, DSP. So let me just show you. Let me explain something briefly here. So here's the thing you see. For this free account, you can only can you see they will give you just free 25 queries which is at least to an extent enough i will don't worry i will also recommend some alternatives to mid journey as we journey in this particular video but trust me i've tested and tried so many of them none comes close to mid journey do you get it now so uh that's just it okay uh so let me let's go look for that's just the here you now you need to look for uh what's it called can you see this is the output of the prompt i entered so of course you will see there is there is this change in color of the background of your prompt you will see it and just look for you you yourself imagine the kind of output you are looking for can you see so i asked it to create a black man with afro so can you see this is it although you can be more specific with some some things but i just want to show you how the platform works so this is the first command that i would enter here so one more thing is this you see this u1 u2 u3 u4 it stands for upscaling so upscaling means okay you want to now all of these images are actually combined together so if you actually want to download one of these images or upscale it or yeah upscale means yeah upscale means you are separating it from 
every other piece here so i'll just click on let me see the one that i would like okay i think uh so this is now let me explain this is u1 top right is u2 the one at the bottom right is u3 and the one at the bottom right is it yeah bottom right is u4 so i'll select bottom left which is u3 so uh let's click on this can you see so once it is finished loading you scroll down to check uh, scroll down scroll down can you see because many people are using this platform second every second now can you see when you click on this it will tell you upscaling image number theory with black man afro and this is my username so you need to wait a little time just like 60 seconds for it to uh, generate what you have asked it to generate so they call it job so for every processing it's just called job on mid journey so you need to wait and put your eyes on this very very important this is i know <laughs> human attention span has drastically reduced but not on mid journey you need to pay attention if not you will lose all of your output okay so let's see then we'll move to some amazing interesting the form part now also can you see now we have the result oh it is gone what a law <laughs> okay so you can see you need to you need to look for it again but i know it is around there let me scroll down if i'm not seeing it here scroll down scroll down scroll down no i think okay yeah can you see so you can decide to click on it can you see so you can right click and you can save your image and that thing you can do is you can make variations so you can tell it to just if you click on this it will make a variation of the output and all of those let me show you something else all of this v1 v2 v3 v4 is also called variation so you can decide to make variation of any of these outputs that it has generated okay guys so once you have done that now let me now show you something so i've only show you the basic property right so let me show you something else i'll call this uh mid journey prompt structure so this is the structure it follows so the first thing is uh the default imagine imagine command then your prompt so in your prompt there are two layers so the first layer you can have you can have uh, what's it called the properties of the images that you want to generate so when i say properties i mean description so this is where you actually know how descriptive you could be how creative with describing stuff this is this is where you would know so property is you saying okay i want a tall black wood you understand flat tummy six packs dude do you get it now <laughs> i can actually do that but i'm not doing that in this particular video so this is where you can you see all of those adjectives that you learned in school this is where you use it but of course of course you know i like making <laughs> your life very easy so i'll also show you how you can use chat gpt to create all of these prompts like you don't need to stress yourself don't worry i'll show you the keyword i'll show you the prompts to use on chat gpt for that but just keep watching this video okay um so you have the prompt then the property as i've said to describe um, what you are looking for then there is this thing called parameters so parameters is like you saying you only specify the dimension so let me show you something here parameter is just like you okay you can decide to specify the aspect ratio of the output that you are looking for so for example here on uh mid journey actually before now there are some of these aspect ratios were not available so mid journey there is mid journey version 1 mid journey version 2 mid journey version 3 we are currently using mid journey version 4 which uh they have introduced some new 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 um aspect ratio and i'll show you how to use this aspect ratio so i'm just trying to show you this picture so you understand can you see so for example let's assume you want a wider like a landscape mode output kind of output you can use theory ratio 2 and i'll show you how to use 
all of this stuff okay so let me just let me see if i can uh, show you how to do that uh, so i'll just click prompt so let me just say i want a beauty desktop background so this is actually what i want right now the property so you can also decide to separate let's assume we have multiple properties that you want to use you can decide to separate it with comma so let me just say beauty uh beauty desktop background comma then i'll say uh you can say rgb rgb is another keyword that i can use or so let me use neon background don't worry it's because i've played with uh this platform i know some some keywords which i will be sharing some with you okay neon background then let me now enter uh what's it called the parameter the parameter here that i'll be entering is aspect ratio 3 to 2 which is uh this let me show you 3 ratio 2 this is actually just fun guys this is how you do it the uh the, the keyword for aspect ratio is now you, you the first thing is you put a space then two dash or two dashes one two then the next thing that will follow is ar ar stands for aspect ratio then you put a space theory ratio two so this looks like you're learning uh syntax of writing a code but once you know how to do this then you are good to go and one more thing guys i will advise you also play just stay around you see some amazing output i actually learned some of this keyword from the output that i saw here so let me just click on enter now you see that the output will get here would come in the landscape mode and the reason why i chose that kind of output is because i'm trying to generate a desktop background can you see have your eyes there so i'll need to scroll to find it i'm just trying to explain all of these things can you see guys oh uh desktop backdrop i don't know when i enter backdrop neon background so this neon background is all of this color this you understand this fine color and this um aspect ratio three to two that's why you have this uh landscape mode kind of background okay so that is that about that all right so let me show you something else here another very simple once i'll just enter the is it for the backward slash now imagine space oh what's happening imagine okay enter then i'll say i'll say valentine themed t-shirt uh t-shirt design mock-up something like that then i'll put white and red because if you not specify white and red it might give you black and red <laughs> the boat never wise like that okay all right so let's see let's wait for our rest can you see what i was i described something like this before can you see hero mozut so just seeing some of these outputs you can learn some some amazing prompts yeah okay here we go here we go can you see so you can have this designed and funny enough there is nobody with this kind of design you can also tweak it be more descriptive you get something amazing but i'm just trying to show you what you can do okay guys okay now let's uh, move into some more cool stuff so let's just create some human characters here so i'll just type uh imagine oh imagine enter a black model so i'll show you something just pay attention black model young oh young lady model could be a guy or so let me just specify young lady then i'll say let me say neon background don't know why i like this now okay so i'll just click on enter 
don't worry we'll compare this with uh the next prompt i'll be entering now the next prompt i'll be entry will be more uh descriptive i'll be more descriptive there and i also specify some properties there okay uh waiting to start let me see where look at this stuff guys <laughs> oh okay yeah this is our helpful like look at this look at these beauties for christ's sake now here is the thing these images that or these models that mid john is generating these are not real human being not like it is uh getting a picture of someone it's created it generated this for you and i i think i love number uh two that is u2 and u4 so i would select i would i would love to output uh u2 not youtube hey see that line i like to export you to not youtube this this is just how you feel when you're playing around with how was it called with ai it's just fun like now let me show you how you can spice this thing up you get it now to get something more interesting so i'll say um don't worry i'll still show you some amazing use cases so enter then I'll say Liu Vuitton Vuitton Inspired. You can use Chanel, you can use Gucci, you can use any other brand that you know. I'm just trying to show you that I can do this. Black model, young lady. I feel this young lady is unnecessary, but I just love to put it there. Then you put hyper realistic. So you want like you want it to look like something very very real. So yeah, I will use distant city light as the background I'm I'm trying to use here. What else? Then here you can specify the resolution. So I can say 60k HG. Then the aspect ratio. Should I go for should I change the aspect ratio? I don't even know now. Okay, so the aspect ratio, I'll, I'm looking for something kind of uh, long in length, not in breadth now. So, this is what I'll do. I'll use this aspect ratio, AR, AR, then uh, 1 ratio 2. So, 1 ratio 2 is just like you saying small uh, width, then the breadth will be 2 times the width. Do you get it now? Uh, two times the sorry the height should be two times the breadth this is where all of this mathematics all this uh, length and breadth that you are not taking serious in uh, school this is where you need some of them <laughs> okay i'm just joking so v now this v4 is just like you specifying okay this prompt is for the version 4 of mid john so scroll down let me scroll down first before i enter this prompt because i don't want to start looking up and down so once you have scrolled down click on enter okay sending command sending command okay i'm okay i found you now what can you notice here you see the length the length is actually very long can you see this is longer than the output we have been uh using for a while can you see so let it finish um outputting our result guys 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 give this video a thumbs up this is some things that that can be put together into a course but i'm giving you guys for free so like this video like this video drop a comment in the comment section if you are feeling it if you are feeling me if you are feeling my prompt if you are feeling all of this output guys <laughs> here we go guys come on see come on and don't forget i said Louis Vuitton inspired. So this is why you are seeing some of uh, Louis Vuitton bags here. And in fact, I will need to export all of this. So I'll fast forward all of this part. Okay, guys. So now let me show you one more descriptive example before I now show you some other cool stuff that you can do with Mid Journey. Okay, so um, I will just type imagine. So let's kind of create an image, a scene at a filling station where people are queuing to get a uh, fill. So, or fill. 
okay so um let me just type my description here so i'll say something like people queue in at a filling station if i want to do i can even specify the number of people on the line but let me just uh, let me just say let me just use this then i'll say something like hyper realistic real realistic so let's assume you are a writer you want i want to create a post on fuel scarcity you can probably just generate an image here okay so uh let me use this property dash dash ar so i want theory ratio 2 so i want something in landscape mode okay v4 so let's see what we have or what we'll get amazing cool stuff here okay let's see let's see okay i think i'll go with uh the first one about select i'll just select the first one here guys okay um now that i'll show you some things you can some basic stuff you can do right now let's do some should i say advanced but a little bit advanced stuff now what i'll show you here is how you can combine two prompts together so for example let's say you want to uh, create you are trying to just create stuff you want to bring something to 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 reality like from your imagination to reality so i can say stuff like uh you want to have a cup i'm uh, sorry you want to have a cake on a cup you know there is this word called cupcake there is cupcake okay let me don't don't, don't let me just um say this thing let me show you so let me show you what i'm trying to do here so you can understand so imagine uh let me just put cupcake cupcake so you understand what i'm trying to do here so this is just cupcake so let's see what we'll get here then i'll show you how you can actually have a combined prompt so you want a a cake on top of a cup or you want something and something but they are different entities mashed together do you get it now so uh but let me show you what i'm trying to do here this is an example of a cupcake can you see this is an example of a cupcake but let's assume we want a cake on top of a cup i hope you understand now so this is how you actually write your prompt so you say imagine oh sorry imagine enter then um, i'll put the first prompt here is cup then you put colon colon then you put a space do you get it now put a space then followed by the next um prompt that you, you want so let me say cake do you get it now then you can now click on enter so let's see what this will give us but i'm just trying to show you something here okay now here we go now can you see the difference the previous one was cupcake this one is now cup and cake together so the cake is inside the cup or is on top of the cup i hope you understand the analogy now so you can do different stuff gingerbread is one word but you can do ginger and bread combined but i would have loved to do that but because of our time and i still have some things i want to cover in this particular tutorial okay guys so let me show you how you can actually use images in mid journey now what you want to do here is you can either upload your own image directly from your computer from your desktop or you look for an image online somewhere online then you copy the url but take note if you are copying the url so for example um let's say i want to use this so i'll say uh, open image in new tab let's see so for example i want to use this image you want to ensure that there is nothing at the end appended to the url so you want to ensure the url what ends it is the file extension the image file extension so it could be dot jpg it could be dot uh, jpeg it could be dot png and any other format like that so uh let's assume this is what we want to use so i'll copy this url 
then you go to your mid journey then you type the um imagine enter enter then you paste the url then i'll put comma so let me just use something very uh short so i'll say in the middle of a savannah okay let's see then i'll click on enter so let's see what mid journey would output so it will just like do something like um, using this same dog image but now uh the background will be like in a savannah but let's see let's see what this looks like and uh one more thing guys here is the thing you see if you want to upload your own image i'll not be doing that anyway if you want to upload your own image all you need to do is just double click this plus sign double click it and it will tell you to upload an image from uh, your folder okay let's see let's see let's see what we have got here okay hmm now let's compare and contrast this is the image this is what it gave us now this is not bad like not bad at all can you see so i would go for u2 and u3 if i'm going for any of this i'll go for u2 especially this u2 looks really cool now this is like a snow background but this is savannah background but i'm just trying to explain something to you now that cool thing you can do is let's assume you want to use your own image like your own image what you can do is come to this website come to this website post images dot org uh, just click on this upload when you click on upload you can do whatever thing you want to do so here is the thing uh let me see if i can show you so when you upload so this is just like a platform where you can upload image and grab the url so when you upload you can see use this direct link url not this link this direct link url and do what you want to do so you can use it to uh do some photo manipulation you get it now but i'll not be talking about that you can play around with your own image or picture now this is cool right but let me show you something that is even more cool how you can actually blend two images together so let's say you have uh two or three images that you want to blend together to create just one output you can actually do that so let me show you how to do that here now you'll not be using the margin what you use here is blend now what you want to do is you want to upload the images so let me upload you can drag and drop or upload from your computer uh let me just upload these two images can you see so i have these two images so let's see what the output will look like so i'll click on enter so it is sending command so let's see the way it will blend this particular image and this image together okay let's see let's see okay perfect let's see now let's compare and contrast now look at okay let me bring this to the middle look at the first image and look at the second image look at what it did and i think it tried look at can you see guys can you see look at the tail this is uh, it's showing the tail this is not showing the tail just this uh the, the face the front uh view right now look at it with the tail the uh color texture or combination or whatever uh for example let's assume you want to create a logo or just maybe have an idea let's say you're a designer so you want to have an idea but because the reason i'm saying just to get inspiration or idea is because i've noticed i've tried it like over and over again what i noticed is the text you put into me journey for the logo it will kind of alter it somehow so uh let me just show you what i'm trying to say here so um you say imagine so let me say mini uh minimalistic business business logo for let's say dsp travels and tours so let's see what it will give us okay now look at I don't know who sent it to give it the full uh full mini but look at but let me try let me try something here 
let me see i've not really tried this before um uh, let me see let me see if this will work Im imagine let me paste this business logo for dsp travels and tour so let me say icon only 3d uh let's say 3d let me see what it will output let's see why not just give me dsp that i have you to give me why 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 come on okay um i just wanted to show you that let me let me see this stuff but this is actually very very cool but it's not giving me what assume it it's wrote dsp now that would be very cool but let's let that slide okay so uh the next thing i would like to share with you here is this so let's assume you're a website designer you can just come here tell mid journey enter and tell it to uh design something a modern tie wristwatch e-commerce website and uh, we want gold and blue color color oh uh, sorry gold oh. gold and blue color then um let's say full page ui you get it now elegant team elegant team uh mobile responsive i'm also a website designer so that's why i know some of this this terminology uh aesthetic just put everything 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 okay uh so let me just copy this first because i might be doing a variation of this so let's see let's see what it will give us let's see so you can use the idea you get here to design for your client if you are not a ui designer especially if you are just a wordpress designer so you can use this okay let's see what this will give us okay now let's see look at this guys this is actually cool look at um look at the fourth one year and in fact everything looks cool i'll pick the first the third and the last one can you see guys so this is actually very cool so you can also use it for that i hope this helps okay um let me see let me try one more thing oh sorry not image should be imagine imagine okay so uh let me try one more thing modern shy research commerce website gold blue full page ui mobile then uh let me see mobile i'm separating the mobile now for some reason let me see I'm, I'm trying to check something here okay mobile responsive then let me specify let me specify the aspect ratio let's see so you say dash dash a r so i'll use aspect ratio one ratio two so let's see. I want, to, I want to confirm something here. Let me see the way the output will look like. Oh, I did not have version 4, but let's see. Okay, now this is what I'm actually looking for. So I want to see the mobile version. That was why I used this um, aspect ratio, just to see the way the mobile version will look like. And yeah, it did. So let's see. You need to think in terms of ai and i wrote a post like some months is it some months or some weeks ago on prompt engineering for chat but the same thing applies to all ai platform so if you are not getting the results that you are looking for it means 
there is something missing in the prompt so you want to master how you can like you want to understand prompt engineering very well you want to know how to coin this prompt like coin them to give you what you are looking for okay uh let me look for this again okay i found it okay so um click on this can you see guys can you see can you see can you see look at this mock-up guys i can actually ask you to create a mock-up of this okay guys so let me show you how you can use chat gpt to come up with this prompt in case you do not know what to type into it so just come to chat gpt and for those that are new to chat gpt i would advise you go to this uh link now at delegatesamor.com forward slash gpt i don't know if i should update this but just go to adelicsign.com forward slash gpt so but let me show you what gpt simply means gpt so gpt actually stands for generative pre-trained transformer so everything we have been doing everything i've been doing is actually still uh gpt so you either using uh, ai to create images to create uh videos and all of that so you can see i have about five videos and as i've said i'll keep updating this playlist so this particular video you are currently watching also will be added so if you want to actually learn more about chat to write a copy to write a blog post write a book for amazon kdp to write an ebook to also use ai to create video or just check just check just go to adelicasami.com forward slash gpt i'll also put the link in the uh, description of this video so um i was going to explain some so let's assume you want to use chat to generate your mid journey prompt so what you do is you can tell it right no uh write an image prompt for generative art to create now let's say i want to create um a black to create a black superman so this will make it more descriptive can you see create an image of a black superman depicted as a symbol of strength and hope soaring through the sky with his cape billowing behind him the background should be a dark and stormy cityscape can you see now can you see the the way it described the whole thing with flashes of lightning illuminating blah 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 so we can use this to actually come up with uh prompt ideas i hope this helps okay um before i just wrap up the whole thing just in case you are looking for alternative this is an alternative that you can check out and this i think this one you can generate like unlimited uh, number of you can use it for unlimited number of queries but as i've said some of these other ai um ai tools for generating images are not as professional and quality like mid journey do you get it now but of course you can check it out this also probably i'll be creating um a video on some of them i don't know i'm not promising now but you can actually check them out is this also works like uh what's it called like uh the other platform that we just use mid journey so another tool you want to consider is canva now canva is also integrating ai to their platform so you can use uh the canva magic right or yeah write magic or something to write content you can as well use canva to also do text to image so let's just try it out so i'll just click on um let me see instagram post so let's see so let me try let me try this let me try this particular stuff <laughs> let me see if canva is advanced uh the canva ai is advanced to give me uh something that will make more sense let's see okay so what you want to do is scroll to the bottom now you might not see this stuff here but because i've checked it before so just click on apps then you can search text to image text to image so it will show you then to bring it on the left panel so i'll just click on this 
then uh let me see let me paste this whole description oh okay let's see let's see let's see so let's see the magic it is hard work transforming those images from your head wait with us while we generate create and okay let me see hmm I'm anticipating the way because I've not really tried this. Okay, okay, this is not bad. Honestly, this is not bad. Can you see? And I'm very sure it was because of the uh description that ChatGPT generated. This is not too bad, even though it can be better. But I hope you get the idea. So you can also try some simple cool stuff with. Uh, what's it called canva text to image ai so i just thought i should share this with you because some of you might be using canva already and you know how to use canva already so guys i want to believe this is actually value packed you have gotten a lot of value in this video all i can ask you to do for me right now is to like the video drop a comment subscribe to the channel and i would advise to check out these videos as well this will help you if you want to stay updated with everything ai for creating videos and some other cool stuff okay guys so that will be all for now and i will see my next video bye for now